in a world which high-end and complex jet fighters like the Dazzle Rafael, Eurofighter Typhoon, and most notably Rocket Martin F-35 Joy Strike Fighter program is dominating the media when it comes to the global fighter market. Not all countries need and can afford these top fighters. Even some countries want to, but can't buy it because they have poor relations with the West. They can choose from machines manufactured by Russia or China. There is a sizable market for lower-cost alternatives. It is this market that Sweden sharp just 39 Grapen dominates. The commander of the Sweden Air Force, Mats Helgerson, recently made the bold statement that his country's sharp Gripen E fighter could beat Russia's formidable fleet of Sukhoi jets with none of the expensive stair technology the US lies on. Gripen, especially the E murder, is designed to kill Sukhoi. There, we have a black bear, Helgerson told at a presentation in Finland, where Sweden is trying to export jets. So, what makes Jet 39 Gripen E so special? Let's talk a little bit about Jet 39 for you to remember. The Jet 39 is an excellent low-cost fourth-generation fighter. Originally developed in Sweden in the 1980s, part of the Zat nation effort at maintaining a neutral foreign policy stance, the Nordic machine is designed to be relatively cheap easily to maintain and fire off any potential aggressor. Though just have made the Gripen an attractive prospect for many nations including Brazil, South Africa, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Thailand. More countries deterred by the outrageous price tags of rival machines are likely to jump on board the Gripen bandwagon as more advanced derivatives of the Swedish jet enter production. The Gripen has undergone many upgrades. Just 39A and B is the initial version that entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996. These models gave way to the much improved C and T murder aircraft. The advanced next generation Gripen is called Just 39E and F, developed from the Gripen NG program. The Swedish Air Force is buying its Gripen E's for $43 million per copy less than one-third the price of the F-35. Its operating cost per hour is less than a tenth of that of the f 35 The export customers are buying Gripen for $85 million per aircraft. The Brazilian Air Force order Gripen EF and the Philippines Air Force is in the process of procuring this fighter. The Just 39F is a two-seat version of the variant E. The E fighter, the sixth variant of the Gripen family, is slightly bigger than previous versions, has a stronger engine and upgraded radar systems. The new Swedish plane still retains the design lines of its predecessors. The aircraft that emerged was a single engine, single seat, canal design. Gripen has a 15.2 meters long, a wingspan of 8.6 meters. This aircraft has a US made engine the GEF-414, which is also the engine of the F-18 Super Hornet and India's Han Tejas. The GE-414 turbofan engine rated at 22,000 pounds. It features a new high-pressure turbine and a new six-stage high-pressure compressor. The new engine enables the Gripen to reach Mark II at high altitude, with a turnaround time between missions of just 10 minutes. The Gripen's combat radius is 800 km and fairings 3,200 km with drop tanks. Overall, the Gripen has a very beautiful design with a last rear wing configuration. The wings were low mounted on a slab sided tubular fuselage frame to which the gently sloped nose cone cap the front end. The Gripen E has a cockpit that was situated ahead of a midships and behind the nose cone assembly with two-piece canopy, featuring live framing and excellent all-round views. The digital cockpit with three large multi-functional displays, including a few 3D screens. 
The cockpit also features a hands-on thrusters and stick, which provides superior situation awareness for a pilot. Just below the cockpit was a pair of rectangular air intakes. The ambulance was capped by a sharp, clear single vertical tail fin, seated above and ahead of engine external port. A pair of panels were fixed to the sides of the intakes for increased stability and agility at various attack angles and short field takeoff and landings. The undercarriage was conventional and fully retractable, featuring two single wheel main legs and a double wheel nose leg. The single-seater aircraft features 10 pilot stations, which enable to carry reconnaissance ports, weapons, and external fuel tanks. The aircraft's internal fuel tanks with a combined capacity of 3.4 tons are approximately 40% larger than those of its former version. The increased volume is made possible by moving the landing gear from the fuselage of the aircraft out to the inner wings. The Gripen E is designed to carry more weapons further and to check multiple threats using the latest TIE operator. The weapons include guided glide bombs, long-range air-to-air missiles, and heavy anti-ship armaments. The Gripen also has a 27mm Moser BK-27 gun, which can be used in air-to-surface attacks against land and sea targets. Like others in the rings, the Gripen E has a delta wing and fly-by-wire fly av units. Unlike some others in the line, it has a greater fuel capacity, 20% more thrust, more balance, in-fly refueling capacity and increased takeoff weight. Perhaps the most important feature is the new British built Selig Raven ES05 Active Electronically Scan Array Radar, which replaces the old Mechanically Scan PS05A. The Gripen also has comprehensive networking capabilities. The new Gripen's maximum takeoff weight is increased to more than 36,000 pounds, up from around 31,000 pounds for the C and T variants. Gripen Module E, designed to be the nightmare of Russian aircraft, specifically here the Su-35. Russia Sukhoi fighters have achieved a kind of legendary status for their ability to outmaneuver US fighter jets in dogfights and pull off dangerous and aggressive stones in the air. But Gripen may crack the code. The Gripen can carry the most weapons and has no real stealth and it isn't the longest range, the fastest, or even the cheapest jet. To defeat Russia's fearsome fighters and surface-to-air missiles, SAP focusing on electronic attack. The whole concept of the Gripen E is to operate in Swedish territory, take advantage of all sorts of uneven terrain under cover of friendly surface-to-air missiles with a super EW suit which should in theory keep it safe from the majority of Russian missiles and air-to-air -air threats. Additionally, the Gripen E can fire almost any missile made in the US and Europe. Su-35 is almost as large as the F-22, with an empty weight of 18.4 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 34.5 tons. Its fuel fraction at 38% gives it a combat range of 1,000 miles, equivalent to 1,600 kilometers. An inevitable consequence of last four plus plus generation aircraft is that higher radar cross section and visible to modern aircraft such as Gripen or the F-35. The Su-35's radar could theoretically detect enemy aircraft at a distance of 400 kilometers but it must be the target of a 3 square meters greater cross section. Therefore, the detection range of the Su-35 is reduced to only 100 km for live fighter aircraft such as JAS-39, which has only radar cross section of 0.5 square meters. Meanwhile, thanks to the active race array radar, the radar on the new JAS-39 version can detect live fighter from a distance of more than 200 km. In modern aerial combat, 
The discovery and opponent first is considered the leading factor to win. Currently, the range of air-to-air -air missions has reached 200 km. For air-to-air -air missions out of sight, no escape zone parameters should be considered. This is a term for the area in which enemy aircraft cannot use pure mobility to avoid missiles. The Su-35 main air-to-air -air missiles is the R-77, with a range of 90 to 170 km, had a nest range of 40 km, while Just-39 uses medium missiles with a range of 189 km, an extremely impressive nest range up to 100 km. This gives Jat-39 superiority over the Su-35. In the dogfight, the mobility of the Su-35 outperformed its driver, but in return, it was much larger than the Jat-39, so the risk of getting hit was also higher. The price of Su-35 and the latest Jat-39 variants is about $80 million per unit so it is quite similar in price. But the flight cost of the Jazz 39 is much cheaper, only for $1,700 per hour, compared to $35,000 on Su-35 fighter. Obviously, the cost of exploiting the two-engine aircraft will be more expensive than the one-engine type. On the other hand, the time limit for maintaining the Su-35 engine is only 500 hours, because it uses a 3D jet adjusted engine, while this finger of Jet 39 is up to 8,000 fly hours. The difference in the export market is that the Su 35 is quite easy to access. If you have money, Russia will sell. For Jet 39, it must be accompanied by some political conditions if you want to buy this fighter. It is known that the US is holding some technologies, especially the engine so Sweden can only sell to customers once approved by the US. My video about Jazz 39 Grip and ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.